Most former footballers step into management or turn to punditry once they hang up their boots. But a bevy of ex-stars went against the grain and delved into bizarre careers after retiring. Some of the group have gone into extreme sports such as car racing and others have amassed more wealth than they could have ever dreamed of during their time on the pitch. And here, takes a closer look at the most outlandish career switches made by former players that will blow your mind. Be prepared to be amazed by the choices picked by a slew of retired aces ranging from two. French icon Barthez had a glittering career as a goalkeeper that saw him lift the World Cup, a Champions League trophy, and two Premier League titles with Manchester United. The ex-stopper, dubbed the Le Divin Show, the Divide Bald One, quit the game in 2007 after a spell with Nantes. But he wasn't done yet and went on to, to pursue success in an unrelated field following his retirement. Just a year later, he opted to take his life to a new extreme by jumping into the world of professional racing. And he achieved his first podium finish at the FFSA GT Championship in Race 1 at Dijon Prenois, in 2010. Barthez followed that up by winning his first race in the FFSA Series in Race 2 at the Circuito de Navarra a year later. But although his new career path shocked many, it was always on the cards he revealed in a previous interview where he said, I have always been fascinated by motorsport, even when I was playing football. It always intrigued me. Flamini etched himself into the hearts of Arsenal fans during the two spells he had at the club, and he also had a notable period with AC Milan, amongst the time he spent at a few other teams along his career. He earned a decent wage packet during his playing career, but it's what he chose to do next that saw his bank balance gazump those of his former peers. The Frenchman's net worth catapulted to a staggering £10 billion after he founded GF Biochemicals to provide an alternative to fossil fuels. And the ex-midfielder's humanitarian efforts have paid off abundantly. Speaking on how the project came to fruition, Flamini explained, via the Sun, we financed the research by Milan Polytechnic. After several months we came up with the technology of how to produce LA on an industrial scale, meaning cheaply and cost-effectively. We patented it. Former goalkeeper Czech got used to the cold during his time in London at Chelsea and Arsenal. He won four Premier League titles and the Champions League in West London before retiring in 2019 with the Gunners. But the chapping London weather wouldn't have been able to prepare Czech for the extreme cold he now faces in his career as an ice hockey star. The Czech Republic icon took just four months to delve into the sport played on ice, but he has no regrets about his new lifestyle. Speaking on his decision the make the switch, he said to the Daily Mail, it's a completely different level of pressure. This, ice hockey, is more fun than when you play a Champions League game. I still have that feeling in myself because I want to perform. I want to win, I hate losing, it's the same feeling I had when I played football. You still get that feeling when you're walking through the corridor, to the ice, surrounded by all these people. Maybe if there were 30 fans, it would be different. But the building is full. That's what I like. Ex-Southampton bad boy traded his boots for a mic in one of the most random career switches yet by a player.
Osvaldo landed himself in hot water when he had a bust-up on the training ground with teammate José Fonte during his time with the Saints. And although he won the Scudetto with Juventus, he much prefers his new endeavor as a rock band singer as he's allowed to be free. The Argentinian's time as a footballer came to an end when he was just 30, after he met the members of his group, Barrio Viejo, whilst playing for Espanyol. And now the collective play gigs in Barcelona. Speaking on his new career, Oswald said to the Sun, there are so many many rules in football. So so many rules. And I am not good with the rules. I like to be free, he said with a percussive burst of laughter, cigarette in one hand, Jack Daniels in the other. I am proud of my career and I owe everything to football. But in football you have to live a life that's not real. Ex-Manchester United star Mulreen was one of the budding stars to come from the Red Devils Academy. But despite raking in £600,000 a year at the peak of his career, the former midfielder ditched the life of luxury to become a Roman Catholic priest. And he prefers his life as a speaker for God after becoming disillusioned with all the money and girls he accrued through football. Speaking on his change of career, Mulrine said to Norwich, another one of his former clubs, we have a wonderful life as a footballer and I was very privileged, but I found with all the surrounding stuff that eventually there was a kind of emptiness with it. I was quite shocked, why am I not happy when I have everything that young men want? I just found a real sense of fulfillment with it. Football was huge highs and lows and here was something that was giving me a steady sense of contentment. In stark contrast to Mulrine, ex-Newcastle star Asprila got more in touch with his sexual side when he launched his own range of condoms. The Colombian striker became a with Newcastle's fans during the two-year stint he had on Tyneside. And he showed a glimpse of his Randy side when he played a porn movie to his Newcastle peers on the team coach. But he took his interest in intimacy to new heights when he debuted his condom line in his homeland back in 2016. Explaining his reason for starting the frisky business, Asprila explained to Colombian radio show LAFM, I think it's a really cool idea. They'll hopefully be launched with a campaign to prevent unplanned teenage pregnancies. I'll recommend the guava flavor condom. When I was growing up, we had a guava tree in our garden and that's a flavor and aroma that's very good for romancing.